So you guys, it's just me today. No Yuli and Ernesto anymore. This is Yuli's story. What were you saying about me? <laughs> just kidding, he's here. This week we're talking about feet. For all you foot fetish people out there. I got a lot of requests for these videos. Surprisingly true. I had a foot infection that I was documenting on my Instagram and people were like, the video, the video. I have these beautiful dainty feet and what ended up happening, <laughs> I woke up on Monday morning and I thought that I had a bug bite or a spider bite on the top of my left foot. By Tuesday night, I couldn't walk on my left foot. My foot became, turned like, got 10 times bigger. It was so swollen. I was traveling, right? You were gone. Yeah, I was gone. So it was kind of like, hey, this is happening. Yeah. Um, which, funny enough, two weeks prior to that, I dislocated my toe. So I was just like, what's going on? Why, why, why are we both hurting our feet? The doctor couldn't tell me exactly what had caused it. All we know is that your foot is infected. They had to cut my foot open. Cue video I recorded of his foot being open. Specific. Pasolovic. Mm -hmm. okay. How common is this? Is this common? Oh, it's a bunny pimple <laughs> on the body. How common it is. Oh, really? Ah! You feel it? Yeah, I felt that. I didn't done anything. <laughs> it was extremely painful, and he's essentially pushing out the pus that is in my foot. And he puts a gauze within my foot, and every two days I had to go to back to urgent care. It became my home away from home, and they had to remove a little bit of the gauze each time, which was extremely painful. It's already pulled out there. So that's all you want. Oh, great. So we're gonna cut here. Okay. And then maybe in a two days or so, you come in, we pull out another quarter inch. Oh, that's it? That's it. So we're gonna, oh, here, you wanna take a video? So this will come out like this a little bit. See, like that. See how well it moves? Ooh, ooh. Nice drainage. Yeah. The purpose of that was because the inside of my foot, the infection had to heal from the inside out because if the top of the foot healed and the infection wasn't completely drained out, I was just gonna end up at square one, where I started. <laughs> I just felt like you kept having to go to the doctor. Thank goodness you have insurance. Yeah. Um, because if not, this would have been so expensive. It was like, come back in two days, we're gonna clean it out. It's like, uh, who has that kind of money? Yeah, I know. I haven't got charged yet, so we'll see. But yeah, um, in and out of the hospital, gauze inside of his foot, taking it off. People at work are like, you're lying. You're laughing, it doesn't hurt. That's true, people didn't believe me. But I had to take six days off of work, and in those six days, I had to keep my foot elevated at all times. Hello, world. It's uh, day six that I've been off of my feet. As you can see, I haven't shaved, I haven't done my hair. I'm just letting it go. I'm gonna show you my foot real fast. It's been in this position for the last six days. The swelling has gone down. It's gone so much better than it was. Um, a little bit of a discomfort, but not as painful as it used to be. So, exciting. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be done. I'll be able to walk again. But I did do a lot of binge watching of television shows and I ended up watching the entire season of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, the new one on Netflix, which I highly recommend. So good. So good. All the guys are amazing. I immediately followed them on Instagram. Can you name them all? Jonathan, who is my favorite. Tan. That's my favorite. Anthony, who is everyone's favorite because he's so cute. Bobby, 
who does all the home decor, and Karamu, who is culture. And I think I got them all. Don't know how we started talking about Queer Eye right now. Yeah, sorry. Not the intention, but really, 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 really good show. Essentially, my foot is almost healed. I can walk again. Went back to work, unfortunately. Um, and now it's just a scrape on the top of my foot that slowly needs to heal. My official diagnosis was... Cellutosis meiosis. Um, Cellulitis phonitis. Something like Carcinoma. That. 